please do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. When you do, don't forget to click on all. Because if you don't, you might not get notified of all of the videos. So make sure you click on all. And don't forget in the comp in the description area, please consider contributing to this particular ministry, either through Patreon or else through the PayPal. Both links are in the description box. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and welcome to all my brothers and sisters in Christ and to all of our lost brothers and sisters in Islam and to anybody else that is listening. Welcome to the Truth Verses. Let us begin in prayer. Our Father, which art in heaven, thank you for this day that you have made. Father, we pray that you touch our lives and the lives of the Muslims throughout the world, that you show them the truth, that you bring them to your Son, Jesus, that died on the cross to pay for all of our sins. Lord Father, bless this channel that it does your work that it brings people to your glory, to your Son. We ask this in your Son's most holy name, Yeshua HaMashiach. Just in case if someone wants to make a big deal, this channel is an educational channel, and thus the Fair Use Act is fully engaged. Well, if we just let them talk, and just let them continue to talk, we can find errors in even the simplest little thing they say even when they try to boast about their own Allah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you want to see the most recent example? Do you really? Come on. Of course you do. Say, he is Allah, the one and only, and I emphasize the, and you will understand here in just a few minutes. Allah, the eternal, absolute, he begets not, nor is he begun, and there is none like unto him. I wish there was... I wish that he wasn't even in existence. Quran chapter 112. Although the this doesn't say it, and I know exactly where it is. Verse 1. But that's fine. I don't even have to look it up for you. I know it is verse 1. How do I know? It's right here. I've got in one of my slides 
well, actually, a few of my slides because I have it done up in different ways, depending on how I want to. do the conversation, but I knew 112 verse 1, verse 1, yeah, I wouldn't say beyond all comparison, he, he is likened unto the devil, and Yeah. So. Funny you should bring Quran chapter 112 up. I'm still looking for Allah Tawheed, and that is what this is in Arabic. Allah Tawheed. Oh. Not all that. Within the parentheses. Allah Tawheed. That is what that is. Because that is what they boast. Allah Tawheed. Allah Tawheed. Allah Tawheed. But there is a problem. And here it is Tawheed. And this is a rough. English phonetic spelling of the word Tawheed. Okay. There's probably two or three ways to spell Tawheed and of the English phonetic spelling. And this is one of them. Because sometimes when you translate a word from one language into another, you translate it, and then you try to spell it out, you do it phonetically. That is something many people don't even know. Okay, at which Allah Tawheed, which is over here, God is one, is, and that's the key thing, is, God is one, that's the literal translation, but wait a minute, Allah, the one. Now, back in college in English comp one and two, I know I would have been deemed off some points if I tried to put is instead of the. They are not the same. And if you want me to prove, get, oh, I am in chapter 112, but for that of a different reason. Okay, so I just have to back up two verses. Apparently, Allah is not begotten, nor does he beget. That sounds like a very limited God to me. Uh, 
Okay. Well, there it is. Say he is Allah. He is. He is. 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 Is every single one of the translations I have states is. I don't know if I can copy. Nope, that is not something I can copy the text thereof. Unless if I copy. Nope, it is actually a image and not text. Because I would have copied it and went to Google Translate. But that would have given you the same thing as what you see right here anyway. Is. And this is the only chapter and verse that even comes close to the mantra. Nowhere else in the Quran does it even come close. Nowhere else. That is why I have further on Well, wait a minute. Let's go ahead and continue before I get to that point. In the Quran well I am still looking for al tawhid in the Quran because chapter 112 definitely does not have it. You just admitted it states uh, he is Allah the One. Notice the difference between the and is. Oops. Which is why my memes similar to this has on it, well, well, you can see at the very stop, top, where did Muhammad or Quran say in the exact words, where is Allah Tawheed? And I'm serious, in the exact word, where is Allah Tawheed in the Quran? You're not going to find it. It's not in the Quran. See, we Christians can make a declaration that if you can find but I'm not going to make this 
but we we Christians can, if we want to, and be confident that they will never find it. If a Muslim can find Allah Tawheed in the Quran, we would switch over. Just let them talk, and they will put both their feet and their fist in their own mouth. Listen, Mr. and Miss Muslim. Do not think that we hate you because we do this. If we really hated you, we would not be doing this at all. We would be off doing something else and we would just let you burn in the lake of fire. Okay, simple as that, Mr. and Miss Muslim. Simple as that. Instead, not only does Matthew 28, 16 through 20 calls us to go out unto all the world, but as a Christian, it pulls at our heart. that many will still die and go to the lake of fire. Just like there are only two sides to the coin, heads and tails, there are only two places you can go, heaven or the lake of fire. In your religion, it is called paradise and hell. Okay? Just like in Islam, there are certain things you do need to do. But in Christianity, you have to recognize the key element that Jesus, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus the Messiah, the only begotten Son, John 3.16, have came to earth, took possession of a human body, grew up among us as a human, went to the cross for our sins, took the penalty of our sins, and ended the old covenant. See, there are two things he did at the cross. Most Christians does not realize there were two things he did at the cross. He bore our sins which and took the penalty for our sins and he ended the covenant. Or, yeah, he have ended the covenant, the old, what 
well, what is now known as the Old Covenant, which is why it is now called the Old Testament. Okay. And brought in a new covenant, which is why it's now called the New Testament. Oh, excuse me, the New Testament. And on the third day, he rose from the dead. And that by accepting this, you become an adopted child of the father Theos. Okay, by accepting all this, you become an adopted child of the father Theos. See, in Islam, you are only an Abdul, which means slave. In Christianity, you become an adopted child of the Most High. How awesome is that? How awesome is that? To go from being an Abdul to being a brother and sister to the most powerful king in the universe. Let me actually rephrase that, to being the child of the most powerful king of the universe, to being the brother and sister of the most powerful prince which is Jesus Christ of the universe. See, if we hated you, again, we would just let you be and just let you burn in hell. We would just let you burn in the lake of fire. Who cares? Well, I for one care. I for one care. And others like me that does videos like this care. You may think that we are making fun just for making fun of your religion. And yeah, I'm sure a couple are, but most of us are trying to get you to wake up out of the coma that you are in, out of the brainwashing that you have endured. We are trying to get you to wake up. You might be saying, well, I was brainwashed too. No, I was not. Not by Christianity. You are brainwashed and you are in a cult. Let me ask you this, Mr. and Ms. Muslim, because here is a sure sign of a cult. If you leave Islam today, 
what would happen to you. A death threat would be put on to your head. And if you are in an Islamic country, and if they find out, it would be carried out. That is a cult. Or you would be shunned in a non-Islamic controlled country. Just ask the apostate the just ask the apostate prophet. He is no longer a Muslim and he has been receiving death threats ever since he has left. Ask a lot of these other Muslims or ex-Muslims that has left Islam. They have continued to receive death threats. There are ex-Muslims in Muslim controlled countries right now that has to keep it a secret because of that death threat. That's only one sign of being in a cult. It is time to get out. Even if you cannot openly declare it, quietly get out. And then declare your heart to the Lord Jesus. I truly believe that he understands that you cannot openly declare right now. But do something about your false religion and come to the Lord Jesus. He's waiting for you. Come now before it is too late. Okay. What must I do to be saved? God the Father, Theos, did his part. He sent his only begotten Son, at which, let me point out, that the Son did so of his own free will, okay, that that of Theos sent his only begotten son, John 3, 16, to one, bring an end to the old covenant, which is why the Old Testament is called the Old Testament. Testament and covenant are actually synonyms and thus brought in a new covenant because in the Old Testament, in order to cover sins, they had to sacrifice lambs. Oops, where have we heard that term in the New Testament? Oh yeah, John, John the Baptist called Jesus the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. Okay? So, therefore, Jesus, Yeshua, HaMashiach, Jesus the Messiah, sheds his holy blood to atone for our sins. He paid the penalty for our sins. Okay. 
so now, and then, and, and then the Holy Spirit is sent afterwards. But what do we do before we can believe anything we have got to hear? And here is but just a couple of mini verses in the Bible that says we need to hear the gospel. And then we need to believe it. We need to believe that Jesus is the Son of God and that he came to pay the penalty for our sins and that we are to accept it. Now, I think I consider him as, well, I actually consider him as a friend and I hope that he considers me as a friend too, which is why when he did a video on things like this, steps to salvation type means, he did not give my name on that video but I think he was in a way point me out as well as others but here is the thing every single point on this has scripture to back it up now absolutely you have to hear Absolutely, you have to believe because one of the verses is he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. At, at the congregation that he preaches, he boasts that he have baptized, oh, excuse me, he boasts that he have baptized over 200 people. So I know that he still believes in the baptism as well. So, hear, believe, and baptize. Now, there is arguments of when do we repent and confess. Now, whether if you want to have this red line here, that's on you. If you want to have the red line here, this is what has been believed for a very long time. Now, repent of sins, I personally, my personal opinion at which it does does not count can be put after baptism because we still sin even though we've been baptized because what is in the our father's prayer Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Repent of sins. Okay. You are actually being baptized for the forgiveness of sins. So why have this be before this? So, yeah. This can go after because we still sin after we are baptized. So, yeah, 
the repent of sin personal opinion should be after baptism. And remain faithful. We do those things, and I think I did a video on that. If not, I will do one. But we do those things because we are saved, not to be saved. There is a big difference. If you read Ephesians 2, verse 10, see, a lot of people want to quote Ephesians 2, verse 8 and 9. We are saved by faith through, through grace alone. Woohoo! And want to stop at verse 9 as if there's a brick wall between verse 9 and 10. And no, you got to go on. Verse 10 then goes on to explain, then we are called to do good works. Even though our good works according to the Father is like filthy rags, he still calls us to do them. What did I just say? Yes. Even though our good works are like filthy rags, he still calls us to do them. Okay, so, therefore, regardless where you want to put this line, whether here or over here, regardless, every single one of these have scriptural reference, period. One of them being believe and is baptized, not or be baptized. And means you've got to do them both. This, this same preacher believes we cannot lose our salvation. Well, unfortunately, I've got some bad news for you. Yes, we can. Read Revelation chapters 2 and 3. Okay, but here are the steps of salvation. One of the things we are called to do to remain faithful is to congregate to worship together. Uh, another one is to be a cheerful giver. When I do the video on it, at which today's date is June 25th, 2022, so 
look back in late June of 2022 for this video or maybe even earlier for the explanation of what it means to remain faithful. As a matter of fact, hold on, I will look to see if I have done one. Okay, it looks like, yes, I did. Are we saved by works, part one and part two? I was seeing that it was taking so long and I was not even halfway through, so I did a part one and part two. Here is the thing. Whenever we preachers talk about the importance of us Christians doing good works, some of you want to say why that is legalism. It isn't legalism if it is in the Bible. So then don't even go there. If it's in the Bible, that is what Thales calls us to do. Watch those two videos before you say anything because I will likely delete your comment. But this is what it means to be saved. So, when are you Muslims going to get it? There is a problem. No, not a. There are several problems, potentially counting into the hundreds of problems about Islam. And I don't know if I will have the time to cover them all. Instead, why don't you come to the one that says in John fourteen six, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father except by me. These are Jesus' words. You can't get to the Father by any other means. Not by me, not by Hatun, not by David Wood, not by Dr. Al Fadi, not by Joel Osteen, not by anybody else that you can think of, not even through your Imam or Muhammad. The only way to heaven is by our Lord and Savior. Jesus Christ, the one who died and paid the penalty for our sins. Mark eleven twenty eight says, Come unto me, all, all ye that are weary and heavy laden, at which weary and labor means the same thing, and I will give you rest. Jesus wants to give you rest and peace, peace knowing, knowing that you are going to go to heaven.
John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Did you catch that? Believe in Jesus. Become baptized and put, and put your total faith in Jesus. Quran says, 354 and 830, that Allah is the best of deceivers. If he's the best of deceivers, how do you know he is not deceiving you? Think about that. If Allah is the best of deceivers, as 354 and 830 tells us that he is, because Allah admits to it, how can you be assured he is not lying to you? In 46 verse 9 of the Quran, Muhammad says that he does not know of his salvation and therefore cannot guarantee anybody else's. Wait a minute. Think about this Mr. and Miss Muslim. Muhammad was the best example of a Muslim, and yet he does not know of his salvation. Jesus, the only begotten Son of the Father, have came to earth willingly just so he can pay for the penalty of sin. Are you ready to be a Christian? Jesus is waiting, but there isn't much time left. The end is drawing near. And you don't want to be left behind. When you are ready, I know of many Christians that would love to help you be saved, and I am one of them. We are not here to hate you. If we were, if we did hate you, we wouldn't be doing what we are doing. We would just let you be and keep the gospel to ourselves. Instead, Jesus said there are many mansions, and I go to prepare a place. We all can live in heaven. We just need to accept. We just need to accept his invitation. Contact me when you are ready to give up Islam. Thank you, and have a great day. And don't forget, in the, in the description area, please consider contributing to 
this particular ministry either through Patreon or else through the PayPal. Both links are in the description box.